Hello YouTube, this is Whitney Russell with DSHorns.com. Uh, today's video is going to be on saving space on your hard drive. Um, this is important to save space on your hard drive, especially if you get to recording a lot of different sessions. <clears throat> but the first thing that um, I would advise you to do is to go ahead and get you an external hard drive and save a lot of your sessions onto the hard drive but not the ones that you're working on if you're working on a specific session you need to have that session loaded onto your computer but if you have say you finish the song uh, go ahead and put all those saved songs on an external hard drive uh, that saves a lot of space um, another way of saving space when anytime you go to a situation where let's say you want to save uh, this right here this is uh, hip-hop so if I want to go and save this you save as generally they they let you save something that is what you pulled it up as like this was pulled up as hip-hop so it'll save the exact same one you definitely want to always, unless you need to keep something as a backup, always save it as the exact same thing it came up. So they'll ask you, is already exists, you want to replace it. You know, go ahead and replace it. Another way to save um, hard drive space is anytime you, you're just, uh, maybe you're working with something, uh, you're trying to uh, just maybe hear some sounds and you got to open up a session. Anything that you don't need, always name that, erase, or number, or come up with something system that you know, okay, I need to erase all of these. Like, I, I just say erase one, erase two, erase three, but I generally always end up erasing those unneeded tracks, those unneeded sessions, and that definitely will take up a lot of space. Uh, that is two good ways of saving space another good way uh, is to change your MIDI to audio and your MIDI it takes up a lot of space so once you record your MIDI you can change that MIDI to auto and I do have a tutorial on that you change that MIDI to auto that'll save a lot of space also um, let's see saving space uh, anytime you're not using any tracks you can make any tracks inactive uh, if you have copy tracks, sometimes I like to copy tracks more than once if I'm not using them, make them inactive. Uh, I'll talk about that in a little bit later. And let me think, there's some other way of saving space. Mm. That's the main, oh, last way. The Auto Suite plugins. Now, these plugins are to be used at the end of your session. Let's say you have finished and you want to add effects to say like a whole group of drums well uh, rather than putting in say reverb 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 on all the drums you can go to auto suite and that that it's a uh, it's not real time which means every time you play it it's changing that sound auto suite gives you a whole new track saves a lot of space but I'll talk about auto suite in another one of my uh, tutorials so that's basically how to save uh, space on your hard drive. It's very important.